what's up youtube welcome to another video this video will be taking a closer look at the nike presto australia colorway don't forget to like comment and subscribe and enjoy the video now honestly with this shoe i was anticipating this shoe for a while i've seen it on kicks on fires app when i usually see the releases for the sneakers and i saw this colorway and it caught my eye right away um, before this colorway, I'm a huge fan of the Presto silhouette. I think it's a classic, comfortable silhouette. I have to give a shout out to Bay. Uh, she got me these, so I would, without her, I would not have these. So like I said, this colorway was a unique colorway. That's why it caught my eye. And once I saw the pictures and really got my hands on them, I really started to see the difference between this colorway and you know any other colorway. As you can see, the box is much different from a regular Presto box. It'll be usually be all red, red, or orange-ish. You can see this one is like a nice gray, different shades of gray. It has the, the four or five dots like the Presto has on the midsole. So like I said, this box on its own is really one of a kind. As we get in, you can see this the shoe. I did wear them, that's why they're not in the sneaker tissue so i just left them out there i put them back in the box and I, as you can see they give us like a conversion chart for the sneakers because this precise presto came in a small medium large sizing instead of the regular size 10 or size 11 the number sizing now as we move on to the shoe let me put one pair out so we can get a full round and you can see the tag was still there on Farfetch. That's where that's where my girl got them from. So yeah, shout out to Farfetch, I guess. They still had a couple sizes. So now as we get into the shoe, you can see they're pre-laced. Like I said, I, I have worn them. So there it is. You see that nice, it's like a turquoise. Yeah, the turquoise is pretty good with the, the yellow hints on the logo swoosh a little bit on the outsole and then the some of the stars on the toe now the first thing that catches my eye is honestly the way the turquoise and the yellow contrast each other you know at first glance you know wouldn't really go well but the shoe does does that really well as you can see from the toe we have the stars from the australia flags they have it there all over the toe we got the five give you a closer look at that so you can see the detail of the shoe it's done very well and then i can give you on the tongue you have the abbreviation australia once again with the five stars in gold like i said the detailing on the shoe is really fantastic especially for the price yeah i'll give you the inside look of the shoe you see you also see that clear cage holding the laces and you see that golden swoosh right there going really well with the clearness and then you see the creasing on the midsole like i said i did wear these so because pretzels are probably the top three top five most comfortable sneaker and i always have a presto in my rotation now we move to the the aglets they actually have the wording presto which to me it's new different but like I said, the detailing on the shoe is fantastic compared to previous models. Now I'll give you a better look at the heel. It has the, the first three letters of Australia, you know, the abbreviation for Australia, which in my opinion does the shoe justice because I feel like you can do the shoe, well, Nike can do the shoe with every Presto because the heel is always nine out of 10, it's blank. So. That's a good touch. Now I come back to the insole. And as you can see, like I said, the sizing is a small, medium, and large. And the medium was a size 10 to 11. So I'm able to squeeze between that. So overall, this is a great sneaker, great colorway. And I'm excited to have this in my collection. And like always, I'll give you some better shots of the shoe so you can see every detail. Maybe I missed over something. You can get your own look at it. As you can see from the pictures, Nike did a fantastic job with this shoe. Sometimes Nike rushes to put something just a release and it doesn't come out well. And but 
that's not that's not the issue with this shoe. This shoe is great. It represents, you know, Australia. Great representation of that and the colorway complements each other really well. Now, like I said earlier in the video, I had these marked on my release dates. I knew I wanted this as an instant cop. Fortunate enough, I was gifted these. And, you know, by seeing this in hand, this shoe is remarkable compared to other pretzels where sometimes Nike likes to mass produce random colorways and that you know, devalues the shoe because the pretzel was a great, great shoe, great silhouette. And colorways like this is why the pretzel is out. So if you were on the fence about this shoe, I hope this video can show you that the shoe is great, great, great shoe compared to previous Presto colorways. This is an underrated colorway. I know it's not, you know, seen as a mainstream or you know, a hyped up shoe, but for uh, real sneakerheads, classic silhouette and the colorway is even better. And like always, we always talk about the resale side of things. And this specific sneaker doesn't have any resale, honestly, because, you know, I think the Presto wave is pretty much down or dead at this point, but you know, in my opinion, and I'm a big fan of Presto's comfort is there, the silhouette is there. So as you can see, total payout is 131. Uh, I think retail before shipping, before anything, it's a, it's about 130. So yeah, there's not any, it's not that much resale value in the sneaker, but still a great sneaker. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is one of my, you know, favorite shoes, honestly. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.